Hello, um, I've just been alerted um, by the computer to a post, uh, um, not a post, sorry, um, an article in the Daily Telegraph um, that's now saying that um, Russia opposing a £4 billion pound raid on Shell um the oil company um because they withdrew from russia in 2022 when the war began in ukraine um and there's some dispute over it and i don't understand it at all because um at that time i was watching television um and i was told that a lot of people around europe were receiving natural gas somehow from Russia. Um, whether that was through fracking, that's what partly worried me at the time, fracking somehow in Russia um, to supply other people. Not that I care about Russia more than other countries, or certainly my country here in the UK, um, but because I do care about it somewhat, obviously, and the people there. Um, um, and, you know, I know they're fracking in the US and that worries me too. We, it was threatened that they were going to frack here in the UK and thankfully, um, the protests against that were heard and it was decided that that would not go ahead. Um, but if we were accepting fracked oil from other countries, then that obviously is a difficulty as well. And thinking of the whole planet... Um, fracking, certainly, I mean, if it has to be done at all, it may be being done by people wishing to make profit somehow and not knowing other ways to make profit. So it could be that it's been done not necessarily by rogues, but by people desperate for some kind of profit somehow. Um, I mean, as a self-employed person recently, I've been kicked out of self-employment now, um, partly because you lot froze me out somehow for reasons best known to yourselves, which the tax people are aware of, um, and also because I did not make a profit. Um, it was all outlay on my behalf, which they would have been thankful for because it is a corporation only um state of affairs it would seem um but anyway um a lot of people may still think that oil is inexhaustible because it's somehow mystical um they're trying to make me think that all the books i have somehow have no origins that they're god given into the bookstores or devil given into the bookstores or something like i'm put into a situation of puzzlement not only about the oil situation um which i fear may have you know that it may be exhaustible but about the factory situation as well all the goods that I receive, um, where are they made? Is it in local industrial estates? Um, but how would local industrial estates be able to cope with the manufacturing of plastic and so on? Um, it was lately brought to my attention that um, Prince Charles, King Charles... Um, has um, sponsored a village. Um, but in that village, there seems to be no factory at all, which would seem like something of a 
worrying situation somewhat.